what if you don't have an access to a hardware write blocker and you need to create an image from evidence device like a USB or hard drive. In this video, I will show you how to ensure the integrity of the evidence by modifying Windows registry values. Please subscribe and share the channel with anyone interested in cybersecurity and digital forensic. Let's start. In the UK, we have something called ACPO guideline. ACPO guideline, which is used by the law enforcement or police officers as a guideline for digital forensic investigation. In section 2.27, they mention here, evidence should be preserved to such an extent that <clears throat> third party is able to repeat, the, to repeat the same process and arrive at the same result. That means after you finish your investigation, if someone, third party, someone else, like to repeat whatever you have done, they should arrive to the same result. And this achieve it by ensuring the integrity of the evidence file or of the evidence uh, devices. That means ACBO guideline mention we should ensure the integrity of the evidence. But how we can do this one? To ensure the integrity, you need to use something called right blocker. But let's, before we explain the right blocker and how you can block writing to the hard drive, I'd like to ask you one question. If you are watching me from EU, the United States, India, Pakistan, Egypt, or any other place in the world, I am very interested to know what digital forensic investigation guideline you follow or you have in your country. Please type that down in the comment below. To ensure the integrity, we should always use the right blockers as the tool that prevent a computer to write or to write from from the computer to uh, the attached storage media. There are two types of write blocker. The hardware write blocker, this is a famous one, TX1. I got uh, one or two in my office, TX1. And there is another write blockers, a small write blockers like this one, T35. This is another famous write blocker used by the law enforcement and police officer. And these are expensive, as what you can see, uh, 3,800 pounds, around 5,000 uh, US dollar. Uh, and if you are a student, you write, you're doing your report uh, or project, you may not have access to the right blocker. But if you are law enforcement, okay, you should have something like this, okay? You should have something like this because your report will go to the court, okay? Your report is going to the uh, court. And the other type of write blocker is the software uh, uh, write blocker. In this video, I will show you how to modify the registry values to block writing to the evidence file. Then let's start enabling USB write protection using Windows registry. First thing you need to go to run, type register edit or register edit and run and hit enter. As you are digital forensic investigator, cybersecurity student, digital forensic student, you should know these hives. You should know the structure of the Windows registry. However, we are not going to discuss it today in this uh, short video because it's outside of the scope of this video. And our scope is to write, uh, to create the right blocker 
and modify the Windows registry. Then, how to do this? You need to go to key, HKEY local machine, then to systems, then to control set 001. However, you may, I'm running Windows 11, you may find in your PC is or laptop control set 002, 003, and so on. There is, an, there is a way to know which exactly control set you need to select you need you need to select but however in my case there's just one control set called control set 001 i will hit control z 001 and then within the control itself within the control itself i'm going to create a new policy okay a new policy uh, we will call this one storage device policy let's do it right click new key new key and then type storage device policy make sure uh, you type it correctly the spelling correctly there is no spaces between these three words and hit enter now in the right side right click and right click new and this time we are going to select the word value, 32-bit value. Let's name it. No, you have to name it as write protect. Okay, to work. Write protect. And what you can see, there is a space here. Okay, I will delete the space. Make sure there is no spaces exactly the same. Then, now, when it's zero, that means write protect is off. When it's one, right protect is on. Let, let me change it to the value number one, one. When I change it to number one, that mean, that mean you will not be able to write anything onto the USB. Let me close it, one, let me close it. I have in my hand the USB. Let me connect it to the computer. I just uh, connected. And here is it. This is my USB stick. Whereas there is a couple of uh, pictures in Scotland and Word document. On the other hand, I have this new folder in my computer. This in the uh, in the C file. I'm trying to copy this file now to the D. Okay. Right click, copy. Okay. Then this is the USB drive. When I select past, paste it will not should be not be able to copy anything to it let's try it and see if it's work here is it it said the disk is right protected okay the disk is right protected. by doing this one we ensure that your pc or laptop does not write anything to the usb the next step you do now is to create an image of the USB by using DD command or using FTK Imager or any other forensic uh, tool. Also, before we end, you can disable this one and you can send a shortcut to, um, to let's say to your uh, desktop. Register it. You can just this one is off or on just you can um, export okay export click on export and then let's say we need to export this one to my C drive a new folder I will export it here okay I'll export it here right protect this one I will name it on save it and let's change it the value to zero and let's export it again export right protect off this one we, we need to switch it on and off okay now you can go to the c drive this one where i where i exported two of them if i need to turn it on i click on and click yes this will change this will change the registry values okay adding from it, this will change the registry value i will get another it successfully changed it okay 
but I need to switch. Um, let, let's try it now. Okay, let's try it. It's on. That means it's you cannot uh, make any change to to um, uh, to the USB. Let's copy this one, copy, and paste it again. Okay. Not work. Okay. Then let's we let's switch it off. The right protection switched off. You just need to go right protection, click double click, click yes, and click yes. And click okay, okay. Now let me plug in my USB again. And this time I should be able to copy uh, this lecture week four lecture into my USB okay into the USB because the right pr protection is off let's right click and paste and here is it we have proved that you can use the right blocker by modifying the Windows registry make sure <clears throat> this is you cannot use uh, Windows registry right blocker if your report go to the court because it's not accepted it's it's not easy to validate it okay it's not accepted uh, please subscribe to watch more videos about digital forensic and cyber security thank you very much and see you next video